Hello and welcome to the latest episode of the garden series on our channel. This time we're going to talk about the solar lights in our garden. And starting with the cheapest lights we bought from Dollarama on this shot. Uh, they look really cool, however, they don't last very long. So I would suggest buy more expensive ones. For example, this one are also from Dollarama here, but they uh we bought them last year and they're still working and uh, they were like four dollars each and these lights here are the cheapest ones from walmart they were just over a dollar each and they're still working this year so we bought them last year and actually this year i bought the same kind for the front those are the four dollar lights here um from dollarama but most of the lights we bought from walmart and the vast majority of them are still working this year they did survive the winter and i think there are two factors that i've noticed uh, that help them survive the winter one is uh, exposure to the sun they have to be on a sunny spot to be able to charge very well and if they are recharging well they will survive longer if they don't recharge properly uh, they will die uh, sooner they will have shorter span lifespan and the hanging lights around the window as well as those hanging here on the fence kind of actually look like christmas lights they were able to survive no problem through the winter and were working perfectly fine just because they have very good exposure to sunlight and they're facing south so uh, this was good for them these lights here are really looking cool with changing colors and patterns they also look like christmas lights but the way i had them put they don't have a very good exposure to the sun which is why i've lost some of them i had to buy new ones uh, but i do move them during the day to a different spot to charge better and especially in the winter i keep them in a charging spot uh, and that helps them survive and we did buy them from walmart they were just over two dollars each And here are the cheap ones from Walmart, which are surviving still this year. Now here, the big lights are from Costco. They were not cheap at all, but they really illuminate the backyard really well, as well as those lights around the door there. But let's enjoy the changing patterns and colors of those lights here. I really love them. And here is what the front looks like this year. Those lights are again from Walmart. And the big lights that we bought from Costco are simply to illuminate the backyard so I can move around. If we're coming back at night, it's easy to walk through and see where you're walking that's the main reason i also bought a light at the stairs there and all the lights at the door um they really work pretty good previously um i would leave a light on um just so i can see when i'm coming back late at night from somewhere but uh, now I don't need to do that. Those lights are illuminating really, really well here. And um, they're always on and they're using solar energy. So it's not like I have to pay uh, for electricity for that. So it, it works out really well. Also, this light down here is actually um, has a sensor. Sensors triggered. So it really illuminates. Uh, the door very well so i can unlock and lock at night easily i don't have to use any of the normal lights all you need to do is to make sure that they have direct sunlight because this is how they charge uh better uh, they do charge in the shade as well or when it's cloudy but they're charging very very little so you want them to be most of the day on direct sunlight and even if it is cloudy a portion of the day they can still get enough sunlight to charge and it is important for them to fully charge often that will allow the lights to last longer a like and subscribe would be very much appreciated
And here's the burner for those lights on top there illuminating the door. They're facing sunlight pretty much the entire day. And those lights from Costco uh, are also pretty much facing some direct sunlight all day long. And I'm really hoping that they would work really well in the winter and will survive at least several years. And this one here is in the shade right now, but it doesn't spend much time in the shade. There's also bird poo on it. Here's another one. So there, there were five, five lights and they're illuminating the yard very well. So anywhere I need to go at night in the yard, they, they would illuminate enough for me to be able to walk around. And here's something we really need right now in Calgary. We have not had much rain this year. This is actually the only time that rained heavily in June. Uh, we did have a little bit of hail, but that's that's about it. Last year we did have a lot of rain. But anyways, uh, with this I'm gonna wrap it up for today. Thank you very much for spending the time, and I hope I'll see you in our next episode. Goodbye.